Alrighty. <clears throat> Aquadroid here, the Aquapreneur. Day 168. So a lot's happened since uh, day 43, I think it was before. So as you can see, I've got insulation all the way along the bottom of the grow beds. I've got insulation around the fish tank. I put uh, double wall polycarbonate there on the bottom for the sun to get through so the fish have some light in, in, the, in there. Um, what else? I've added the greenhouse which has uh, the polygal uh, six millimeter quarter inch single wall polycarbonate. Um, I got a little thermometer inside the greenhouse. It's 75 right now and previously showed you my thermometer for the fish tank there. 69.6 a couple degree drop. Um, one thing I did add was this awesome <coughs> solar water heater. So basically it's just black tubing. The um, in and out lines there run down along there underground over and up into the sump tank right there and we'll go ahead and uh, I'll stop here and open everything up and show you next clip all right so this is my uh, sump tank you can see one of the one or two of the grow beds are draining I've got right down here that right there is the quarter horsepower 400 watt pump that pumps water up through here into this line I've got a couple valves here um, the one over here lets me throttle the, right there, throttle the amount of water going to the solar water heater. This lets me bypass because there's too much water going through at a quarter horse, but I need the pressure to get that up there. Um, you saw my float switch earlier, right there. And then over there in the corner is a Sun Sun UV water clarifier. So I had a couple of fish die and um, I thought I had too much algae or some pathogens in there, so I did a 30% water change and then went ahead and got that. Seems to be working, cleared the water up pretty good in the fish room a little bit better. Next clip I'll show you the fish tank. Alrighty, so here's the fish tank. You can see the fish down in there. They're a lot bigger. Like I said, I lost two. Uh, and I don't know what that was for, but you can see the, the solid lift output pipes working real well and uh, removing the debris. I got a couple of big ones down there. Some are hiding in the pipe. And so that's that. So not too sure if uh, I showed you this last time, so I'll show it again. Um, basically this is my electrical box. White powder coated uh, NEMA 12 enclosure. Right up here in the back there's the heater controller. Um, keep the water at 65. It's been heating up since solar water heater's been doing real well. Up here I have a timer for the solar water heater. It comes on between noon and 12. Here's my battery backup air pump. So if I lose power I'm still pumping air in. And then my air main air pump with two air stones in. Um, I forget how many that's putting out about 16 liters uh, of air per hour I think. I have to look that up. But anyway might be per minute. So close up to the garden I've got monster kale growing. I mean you can see it's about 18, 20 inches high. Um, got lettuce. Lots of little white aphids on here. I tried uh, ladybugs but they didn't last long. They kind of flew out. Um, one thing I'd, I'll give you some look at the uh, weather stripping on here that seals up and I just use magnets here for the doors, with the catches, uh, it's too bright, down there, uh, catches put on with some really awesome Loctite adhesive, and those just, they stay pretty good, uh, it's a real filter, I think you've seen that, come on over here, ow, that's my head, um, over here we've got, oh, we got some kale back there that needs some help, and then, uh, I insulated all the way in the back. Let's go around back there. So really the whole the whole thing is uh, insulated all around top to bottom. Let's see if I can get the light to brighten here. 
it's not cooperating so but anyway that's the insulation up here on the roof we got the roof I'll put that at a slight slope keep the water running off little view from the inside sorry it's so dark I don't know why this stupid application does that there we go the slope on the roof so all in all it's working pretty good got some plants flowering so there goes my head again so we'll see you later